Hey, this is Bond Diesel bringing you the final Intel Insights for the Division 1. This one will wrap it up with the Shields 9 through 12. I'm going to play the audio real quick and then I will talk about it. I'll wrap up the Intel Insights series and this will basically be the last Division 1 video I do. So enjoy and let's go. Ducky, we got a problem coming that no one's got a solution for. And sooner or later, it's going to warm up and then we're going to be in for a while to hurt. All those bodies that have been in cold storage, they are going to start to rot. And that means disease, cholera, dysentery, stuff that'll kill you just as dead as green poison. And it'll move through a population just as fast. Besides. Not like we got a stash of meds just sitting there waiting to be used. Once those secondary infections hit, it's going to be bad, Ducky. Real bad. Here's the thing. For months, everyone's been waiting for this thing to be over with and for everything to go back to being normal. But that's not going to happen. Normal is dead. Or maybe this is the new normal. We've lost too many people and too much time. It can't go back to the way it used to be. No way, no how. What we've got now is what we've got, period. And there's never going to be more than that. So everyone who's still dreaming that someday they'll be sipping lattes on the way into the cubicle jobs is just going to have to get over it. Those days aren't coming back. We might as well get used to the idea and deal with what's right in front of us instead. Wish it would warm up a bit for a change. I hate the snow. Footprints make it too easy to track. Too many of these second wave fucks on the island. Now I gotta worry about watching my ass instead of making sure they watch theirs. One second waver can't stand up to one of us. Hell, I'd take three to one odds. At least I would have when this started. We're the first wave, the best. The ones who were activated first, and the ones who were smart enough to bust out of the trap they'd made for us. When I send in the second wave and it was amateur hour, you pick them off as easy as pie. All you had to do was let off a signal and they'd come running. Oh well, those days are over. The second wavers who survived are getting tough. Getting smart, too. Pretty soon they'll be able to get the drop on us, or at least try to. But they're not there yet. And if I've got anything to say about it, they won't. Do your people have everything they need? Really? You want to rephrase that question? You know what I mean, Felix. You got enough supplies to see you through the week. You got the gear you need to keep your place up and running. You got the people you need to make it work. Uh. Building a self-sufficient community in the middle of Manhattan and the middle of all this is hard. We'll take all the skilled labor we can get. When I find good people, I send them to you. You know that. I know. And I appreciate it. Well, thanks to you, we got a hydroponic specialist and she's taken over our farming efforts. Where you found her, I'll never know. I told you, the West Village. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your word for it. I'm glad you believe in what we're doing here. It makes sense. We don't know how long things are going to be bad. People need something to look forward to. People need something to work for. People are going to need to survive if the supply drops cut off. Now, I don't even want to think about that. But if the day comes, we'll be ready. I hope. So there it is, the Fang Prime, Marshall, and Chieftain recordings. So, you know, to recap, they basically went over the first one was a dude talking to his ducky about how things are just going to get worse with new diseases that, that are going to crop up from all the rotting animals and humans and, and so on. And the fact that every, since everything's so bad that even regular diseases are going to be rough. Then we have Esme, our old friend, talking about how things will just never return to the way they were before. Uh, then we have a first wave agent complaining about second wave agents, um, but also talking about how they're getting better. Uh, but she's still able to go rogue on them and kill them. 
And then it sounds like the recording ends with her dead. And then we have a couple people talking about building some sustainable communities in New York after, uh, you know, as, as things move forward, kind of going back to the second one, uh, just talking about how things are just never going to be the same. So th these are interesting, I guess, <laughs> kind of in the way that um, it, it's definitely kind of wink, wink, hinting, hinting towards Division Two, the settlements in Division Two with uh, you know, civilians who are much more self-sustaining and things like that. I, I have to admit that I was really hoping when they announced these shields and once we realized the shields had audio logs, I really hope that at least the last few would really raise like some mystery or would raise some eyebrows and be like, oh boy, that's hinting to something. Um, and I have to admit that at the end of the day, I'm a little let down by them. Uh, I understand that maybe when they did these, they maybe didn't even have enough detail to go really heavy with the hinting and stuff. Um, but I don't know. It's um, it's fine. They, they were cool. This was something nice to do while we you know waited for Division Two and and so on and so forth. Getting the extra little rewards, as you can see, um, you know, will will be nice. I'm not gonna complain about having some cool stuff to uh, to throw on. Uh, the character. Um, there were a few of these that were really fun to knock out. Uh, the one with legendaries, the survival shields, and um, you know there were definitely some that were were a joy to do. So I would have liked a little more out of them, but they were still cool. It was a smart idea to give us something to do in the lead up. So I do fully intend on continuing the Intel Insights series with Division Two. Uh, I, I suspect, you know, we'll have lots and lots to delve into. I want to do um, the Intel Insights on the recordings. I want to do it just if there's any echoes or stories that I find. I might do short ones and uh, we'll kind of dive into the lore with Division 2. So that said, uh, if you like the video and you want to see more of these, please subscribe, like and drop some comments down below. You can find me on Twitch, where I stream multiple times a week, and on Twitter as Bond Diesel. Uh, you can find links to those pages and many more down in the description below. And uh, that's all I have. So until next time.